Does everyone remember ESPN's Stump the Schwab, a game show featuring sports fans taking on a dude who knows just about everything on the subject? Who led the NFL in sacks in the 2004 regular season with 16? Dwight Franey. Colts, big it up. One point for Schwab. Name the two Virginia Union players who went on to lead the NBA in total rebounds for a season. Well, when you say Virginia Union, the first two names come up. Ben Wallace and Charles Oakley. That's it. Two points for Schwab. Bob for four points. In 2002, I filed a $40 million lawsuit against a newspaper that reported I had broken my hand during a fight on my yacht. Latrell Sprewell. Latrell Sprewell is correct. Need an answer. Sammy Sosa. Correct. Kevin. Rafael Palmero. Correct. Brian. Mike Piazza. Incorrect. You're out for this one question. Schwab. Andrew Jones. Correct. It was a show built on contestants attempting to outperform and beat Howie Schwab, RIP. The show would be on the air for four seasons, all in all 80 episodes, hosted by the late Stuart Scott. Incredibly, Schwab would go 64 and 16. Among sports fans, he was an absolute pure star. At times, the network would tape four shows a day, but he would never give himself such an excuse for losing. Per The Athletic, ESPN hired Schwab in 1987, and during his 26-year career at the network, he served in numerous roles, including coordinating producer for the website, along with studio shows Sports Center and Outside the Lines. He was part of a massive layoff by the network in 2013. More specifically, he jumped from coordinating producer to assisting in production to even serving as the resident couch potato on first take where he rated television sports programs from one to five bags of chips. When he was let go, he took to Facebook. 26 years at ESPN. I am extremely disappointed to say farewell. I have been proud of my association and my work during my tenure. I was a loyal employee, displayed respect for others, worked with numerous charities, represented the company well. I always did everything asked of me and more. What did I get in return today? Word that I should get lost. The only thing that mattered was my salary, which in my view was the lone reason I lost my job. Oddly enough, with Pat McAfee, Recently being hired by ESPN and tons of great on-air talents like Max Kellerman, Jalen Rose, and a plethora of production people getting the boot as well. The cycle, it appears, has rehashed itself. Joe D'Ambrosio would write at the time, it's a day later and I still can't believe Howie Schwab was laid off. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's hire three more NFL analysts for Tebow Talk. Legendary broadcaster Tim Brando also disagreed. During my time at ESPN, there was no employee of greater value than Howie Schwab. This is the ultimate style over substance decision. Awful. Schwab would continue airing his grievances. Five years ago, my life changed. My 26-year career was washed away. Yes, I have moved forward, survived the loss of my ill wife, Jody, got married to my angel, Susie. The fact is finding work has not been easy. People don't return calls when you are 57. Experience doesn't seem to matter. Yes, I've had a few things, but it is frustrating to have poured your heart out and ended up being spit out. I was not making Katie Nolan money either. The four letter network has changed and not for the better. Too bad. I feel for others who have not found work and are even more frustrated. If you have been at a company a long time, watch your back. Loyalty doesn't mean a thing anymore. This will be the last time I ever talk about the pain of that day, being told I could not say goodbye to friends of over 25 years. I was treated like a joke when all I did was everything asked of me and more. When they have the four-letter network over the weekend, they have asked me to do six shows a day, they said don't do it, but I said it was okay, it needed to be done. I went out of my way to do a college version of Stump on Ill-Fated Channel and came in at night to do it with Reese Waters and Danny Cannell. Yeah, they got screwed too. So did John Clayton, Jason Stark, Merrill Hodge, Andy Katz. Oh, the list is so long. I wish the current pres luck because he is a SJU guy. My friends are still there. Good luck. The pain may never go, but I may soon. So full disclosure, I wrote this about a month ago to try and pay homage to a show that I thought was really great and a show that 
I grew up on and I really enjoyed along with, I believe it was called Dream Job on ESPN, where fun fact, the first winner of that competition, Mike Hall, I believe is still on the Big Ten Network, also going strong. And, you know, there are many shows that have come and gone, like High Noon, Levitard Show, obviously, Sports Reporters, the list goes on. And this, along with Dan Patrick hosting Sports Jeopardy, were some of the, you know, things that I were into watching because it's sports and it's a degree of nerdum that I am and appreciate. I own it. And then prior to taping, I saw that Howie Schwab passed away. And... That last tweet hit hard. It really did. Hit the feels. Because this is a guy that you felt like you knew. And I know that, you know, if, if, if you see me, come up and say hi to me, of course. But you, you feel like a lot of the people in front of the camera you can relate to and you can understand. And there's like a, a bonding sesh that goes on. And I, along with many others, probably felt that with Howie Schwab. And it's a shame. It's a damn shame that they did not see the investment. Because I always knew that this sort of format has a place. And a prime example right now is one guy on TikTok who has thousands of countless followers so many followers and he does themed jeopardy so it could be like seinfeld the office game of thrones kendrick lamar what have you and those clips blow up these sorts of brain game trivia game memory games i feel like always have a lane they always will whether it's in a short form of content or it's in a full show that someone could broadcast on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and it'd be, you know, 22 minutes. And seeing how it ended, it's just sad. Because I always saw the potential. My heart goes out to the Schwab family and those around him. I am incredibly sorry for your loss. And I hope you know that this man was an absolute legend to sports fans everywhere.